you're wondering how much Yamaha 350 Warrior $900 can get you, well, this is how much it does in Northwest North Carolina. So this, picked this up last night, it does run. It's got a dead battery, so I can't start it now. I've got a battery on the way. Plastics are, depends on which plastic. So the front fender plastics are actually in pretty good shape. They've been painted black. I think they were blue, covered in stickers. This guy's not really attached to anything in particular. Ignition has been bypassed to the switch, which is weird since those are only $9 to replace, but whatever. LED lights, they do work. Showed me they worked last night. The front looks a little weird, obviously. Front bumper guard's long gone. These are replacement shocks from another Warrior, seem to be working. You can see where we have parts of blue peeking out. Whoever had this at some point really liked black paint. It's not a bad job. Front wheels, tread looks pretty good. Wheels been painted black, not too bad. Uh, t gas tank cover is pretty rough. I'm gonna dry and spray paint these white with some Krylon. Plastic fusion, see how that goes. Hand grips are pretty trashed. They're also 130 millimeter, they're too long. I've got some 120s on the way. Uh, clutch is way too hard to pull. I'll have to see what's going on there. Motor doesn't seem to smoke. It doesn't leak any oil, so that's nice to see. It has a, he said he put a Chinese carburetor on it and then it sat for about a year, so it's definitely, float bowl's probably stuck, so I'll put that in to keep it from just dripping gas everywhere. Also, the fuel pet cock original, I think it's pretty much done for, kind of leaking a little bit there, and he put an inline cut off, cheap one, probably from like Advance, but it stopped working as well. Shifter's definitely got some play in it. It really just smells bad. It needs a bath bad, so I'm gonna give it a good cleaning. Factory foot pegs, I'm gonna spray paint those and clean that up a little bit. We have our tractor supply lawn mower tire on the back, so that's interesting. Got that to fit there. I assume that's a factory wheel since it does fit to the bolt pattern, although yeah, it's got some holes on it. Looks like it might have been creative there. Back plastics are pretty rough. Lots of stickers again, as you can see, that's been taped together. In a blue back um, bearings seem to be pretty decent. Again, black paint coming off. It's a huge brake rotor, impressive. So it ought to really back brake ought to work well, and it does seem to. Seat's pretty much trash. Got a new seat cover on the way for thirty bucks. Switch that out. Battery's done for where it sat for so long. Got a new battery on the way. No air, talk about air filter mods. No air filter box whatsoever, long gone. Just the air filter in there, so definitely not something to submerge in water. Factory exhaust actually sounds pretty good, probably because all the packing's going on of it, off of it. Got a little bit of rust. Rust on the exhaust pipe going back. Here's the reverse. Not sure if it's supposed to be sitting in there closer. Got to look up even how to use that. He said it did work for what that's worth. The grips are pretty trash on this side. Till the levers kind of have this theme of where this probably was blue at some point. Maybe silver than blue than black, who knows. Um, the really only other major issue that I can see so far, let's see if you can tell when I try to pull it forward, it is in neutral. There's no parking brake. It's got a real mean drag on the front brakes. So I need to check and see how the fluid looks and then not sure, might have to rebuild the rotors. Hopefully it's not in the master cylinder. But probably put about $100 into it, a little bit of time, and see if it can. I can at least get it rideable. Stay, stay tuned.